A community dedicated to housing homeless veterans is under construction on Indy's southwest side. WRTV's Nicole Griffin visited the site. She talked to a veteran behind this project. After serving 14 years, Marine Corps veteran Jeffrey Tab knows firsthand the challenges veterans experience when they return home. A lot of times some veterans feel like they're isolated from the community, even though they might have a family, but being a veteran is a, uh, is a lifestyle that's very different from uh, being in the civilian world. And so sometimes they feel like they might not have the hope or help that they need. Jeffrey says his own mental health issues along with bad financial decisions led him to a point of homelessness in 2019. But he found hope in the helping hand from veteran Anthony Roberts. Didn't even ask the guy's name, nothing. I said, I've got a fifth wheel in my yard, you can come stay at. Not the world to me. I mean, I've had other people assist me as well, but for somebody that never knew me, to do to go all out like that, you know, was very impressive. And then uh, I've been, you know, assisting him and helping him with his dream right now to help other veterans. That dream is now under construction. Anthony and his son are building 17 homes through his organization, Steadfast for Veterans. I've had people in the neighborhood come by and go, why are you doing this? Because it needs to be done. The homes are being constructed on a property that used to be a mobile home park near Michigan Street and Holt Road. It's called Project 57. All these will be housed by veterans that have a HUD-VASH voucher, which when we started this project, it's phase one of Project 57. Mm. There were currently 57 veterans that had a voucher and no place to live. Anthony still needs roughly $300,000 to fully fund Project 57. We had a lot of funding in place for it when we started, but our lovely inflation rate that we've all encountered lately, our price list to finish everything up has gone at 68%. That's why we've got sponsorships for the homes available. I would love to have a business donate funds to finish a house. Mm -hmm. Their employees could come out and actually build it, be a part of it, paint the inside, put it together the whole nine yards. So can you imagine um, once this is all finished and you are able to house homeless veterans, what that's going to feel like for you? No. It, you can't ask me things like that. <laughs> um, it, it's sad to think that here in Indianapolis we've had a veteran die in a tent over the winter trying to keep warm and we only count them once a year instead of complaining about a problem fix the problem or at least attempt to mm -hmm. and that's where we started on this Nicole Griffin WRTV